everybody. Today we are putting the J7 Plus through its first test ever. I have not ran this guy at all, and I'm very curious to see how well it's going to do in this test. I thought I'd throw a pretty tough test at it right off the get-go just to see how smart this thing truly is, if it's going to avoid some obstacles I put down, and how well it cleans as well. So I'm just doing a small testing area. This is just kind of a first impressions type video. I'll do a full floor plan and a, a much bigger test a little bit later. But let's see how good this guy does. Let's take a look at the mess and the objects I threw down for it to avoid. Start over here on the hard surface. It's got a few things in its way. Got a Advil bottle, bottle of water, a monster, and then a charging cord that is kind of wadded up and a little bit easier to see. I also spread a bunch of salt around the objects to see just how close it gets to the objects. The one slight review that I did see on this, it kind of sees the object, but it's like 10 inches or so away, and then it'll go around that. I want to see how close it actually gets to these objects. So then over on the thicker carpeted area, got some Gatorade a charging core that is flat and in a circle. I was really curious to see if it was gonna be able to see this and go around it. I have never had a robot vacuum avoid a cable that is flat like this. So if it passes this test, I'm gonna be extremely impressed. Uh, then just some a pack of baby wipes they threw down. And then of course, the, just the normal mess. Got some Fruit Loops down here. We'll see if it can get up everything before the test is done. So what do you guys think? How close to that water bottle or cable do you think this is gonna go? I'd say it only cleans up a little bit of that, but if it does do that, I'm sure they're gonna see some of these videos be put up. I'm sure that's something they can fix in a software update later down the road if need be. Now also don't worry, I still will be doing the dog poop test. I currently don't have any, I don't own a dog, but my brother does and that might just be this weekend, so. If you're interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can see first when I do upload that video. And I really hope this is able to do what it claims, and I really do think it will. iRobot does, in my opinion, have some of the best software out there. So without talking anymore, let's go ahead and send this guy out. Got the J7, it's fully updated. We're going to vacuum everywhere. Let's see how good this guy does. I think this is gonna be a tough test. See the little flashlight it has in front? Oh wow, it avoided that by like a couple millimeters. And I believe it's supposed to, when it has something avoid, it basically takes a picture of it and it should show me on the app what it thinks it is. That'd be pretty funny if it sees this robot and puts, you know, competitor robot. Of course it won't, but that'd be pretty funny. All right, the next turn should be the first time it sees the cable. And that thing is very flat on the floor, so I'm gonna be quite impressed. Definitely saw it that quick, but see how far away it is? That's probably gonna be the only big initial complaint about this, but like I said, I think it'd be very easy for them to go in there and tweak the software. And instead of it saying, you know, that's a good 10 inches, it can switch it to maybe three inches or something. They're probably doing this at first to see people's reaction, because they don't want to get it too close and have it fail right away and have us YouTubers be like, oh, this thing's a piece of junk, and clearly it isn't. Let me know in the comments how many of you want to see me do a pitch black test and see if this can actually clean in the dark, which is something iRobot has never been able to do. So it should go right past that. See how it slowed down? I kind of measured that it was only a few inches away. That is really cool. It's going to go around a flat cable perfectly, it looks like. And that is extremely impressive. I'm gonna do that same exact test with that DreamTech Z10 Pro and see if that can handle it. It may not be able to handle the flat cord. It might run it right over and air it out. It's very, very, very quiet on carpet. 
Now, this particular Roomba does not have very high suction power, but it's almost not even necessary for these robots because of their, their dual rubber rollers. Of course, the extra power is appreciated, like in the S9 Plus, that thing is an absolute beast. Absolutely no problem whatsoever with that cable. Let me know in the comments what you think about the distance that it's stopping. So that's why I put that salt around those two containers in there. Most likely all that salt's still gonna be there when this test is done. So that to me is definitely an issue. And I robot, if you happen to be watching this, I think that's something you're definitely gonna have to tweak in your software. And like I said, I think they will do that with no problem at all. Yeah, so for cables, it's fantastic. And that's more important to me than a water bottle or a soda can. So if it can do that good with the poop as it is on this cable, I don't think we have anything to worry about. It's going over there, but it's going all the way around that bottle now. It prob you know what it probably is thinking on these? It's probably thinking that they're chair legs. Because if that was a chair leg right now, that would be spotless all the way around it. And the reason why this is not, I would say, because it moves. If that, Once again, if that was a chair leg and it wasn't moving when it hits it, it would probably be, all that salt would probably be completely gone. guys looks like it is done cleaning this area I got most of that on 
footage. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job around this. You can see the tire marks. It did perfect with this cable, which this is the biggest part I thought it would fail. It is a long way away where it stops. However, that's something they can update later, like I said. I guess I'd rather it stop far away than run it over and air out, so. What do you guys think about that? As we said, the bottles, it pretty much hits all of them, but I think it's because it's thinking that it's chair legs or something that's not gonna move. So that's when it bumps it. And when it does bump it, it's very soft and gentle. So I don't think that's a big deal at all. For whatever, this pill bottle completely ran that thing over like it wasn't even there and pushed it all the way around. So. Not a good job on that particular smaller bottle, which surprised me. I thought I'd see that for sure. This water bottle, kind of the same thing. It moved this around a lot. Charging cable, perfect job, but didn't really clean around it. And I guess because it saw two things here that are semi-close, it just didn't even bother going in between because it's set, you know, to say, say it's 10 inches. That's probably like that, and then 10 inches there. There's not really even a gap to go through there. So that's why you see those fruit loops there. So overall, in my opinion, I think it did fine. Like I said before, and I know I'm repeating a lot of this, but if we took out all the water bottles, it would have done perfect with just the cables. I think their sole focus right now is cables and poop. And we'll put that through the test later as well. Yep, so far, is not giving me any information. Now keep in mind that was the first time it's ever been ran. So I didn't fully expect it to give me much. I did kind of expect it to show me some pictures if it in fact does that. So I still have a lot more testing to do with this guy. That was just a super quick test I threw together just to kind of give you guys some real quick information on it. I will be doing this throughout the house and then I'll be putting this down in the testing room through the gauntlet as well and we'll see how good it does. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this kind of first test video. Like I said, I will definitely be running this through my entire floor plan. I'll probably send it on a couple of training runs tonight, so it maps the, my house, and then tomorrow I'll lay out a couple of things here and there, probably just some cables. There's no sense in me doing the drinks. That was just a baseline test to see what it would do with the drinks, and I'll be doing other tests later as well checking out how good this self-empty bin is. I'll be comparing it to its older version and seeing if there's any difference in it, if it sucks better. I'm gonna put the same debris in each and see if it sucks it out better than say this S9 or even the i6. And just do as many tests as I can think of with that robot. I'll even do, be doing head-to-head -head tests I'll be putting this up against that Roborock S7. I'll be putting it up against this guy there, the DreamBot Z10, and then some of my other higher end robots that I have. All right guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, smash that like button and I will see you guys in the next one.